look like a little gentleman. I look so spiffy, like one of those anime school girls. Hello. I look like I'm dressed up to ask the most popular senpai in the entire school out. He's gonna say yes. Guys, I really think I look so cute. Like, hello. Like, <laughs> I guess you guys are kind of starting to learn what kind of style I have. So, here we are. Hey, y'all. It's your favorite baby face. All. My name coming back at you with another video. What to do? What's good? Hello. Um, I would like to um do something a little different today. We're gonna do a tier list. Um, if you haven't seen tier list, you're gonna find out through me. But if you already know what it is, what to do, gang. Um, I'm excited to do this. I'm a very opinionated person. So like, I feel like my opinions are very valid to the point where they are almost facts. Girl, bah, bah. And I'm excited to show you guys my opinions on Cartoon Network shows. Yes, I was, I am a big cartoon fan. I'm a big, just a big fan of nostalgic stuff. So I feel like my opinion is very, very valid. I said, I feel. So it doesn't mean you guys have to come in the comment section and tell me I'm wrong. I'm finger wagging at you. But before we start, I want to make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on bell so you know when I post because I'm looking real spiffy. I got the headband on. The hair is natural. No wig. No wig. You guys see? I'm going to show you something. Your girl's never been bald headed. I'll take that back. I'm going to show you a picture in the next right here. Long way. Long way. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started on this video. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have our cartoon get, get the ad, the ads, the ads. I hate it. Anyways, we have our cartoon um, network programming um, S tier list thingy. I said that all wrong. See the titles in the way and I can't. Okay, cartoon network program tier list maker. Somebody made this and they put some of the goaded of, uh, um, cartoons on here god i cannot speak so we have from s tier to oh, what is this and everything in between so let's see let's start oh my god there's so many there's so many let's see i'm gonna go ahead and go right off the dome powerpuff girls because they are already goaded um i'm gonna go ahead and put them up here as best because they are the best. Um, who else do we have here? Um, Dexter's Laboratory, definitely one of the best. Oh my god. The new one. The fact that they even remade it hurts. It hurts. I rather, the thing is about recreating shows, I rather that they make, you know, show reruns rather than create new ones because you're it, if you think kids are gonna like powerpuff girls then just show the old ones why do you have to remake it if it's good then why not just re show reruns kids are not gonna know the difference besides what some some outdated animation who's judging that like what kid is judging that because if there's a kid judging animation i really would like to meet him but i'm not gonna rank that one yet but I'm gonna put it as never watched it because I personally refuse to watch it. I never did. I'm offended by it. I don't ever want to. Apparently it's good. I don't wanna watch it. Alright, let's see. Who do we have next? Um I'm gonna go ahead and do regular show and adventure time. Why? Because those thing those shows carried when I was like in middle school all the way up into like high school. Those shows indeed carry. Regular show was, people are like, it's an acid trip. That is the point. Regular show was also one of those shows that were really originally pitched to be an adult swim, but obviously they didn't pick it up. So they, uh, you know, cleaned it up a little bit, but still had those little dirty joke undertones. So they went on and made Close Enough, which is now the dirty version of um, regular show, but they're mostly, you know, it's about a couple and their child. It's a good show. Still has that regular show feel, so I'm okay with it. 16, yes. Okay, 16, I'm gonna put as great 
because for one thing I feel like it didn't get enough hype um it did but I just felt like it was so like like swept over and man did I think my life was gonna be like this I was like I swear that my life is gonna be like this it was not it was not at 16 my life was hard at 16 Stunt. god it was stupid Samurai Jack yes yes one of the best oh my god you know what I'm talking about like if I could find that anywhere I would totally rewatch that I mean I would stay up late night with my dad just to watch this show it was so good man we said Adventure Time. Now, Adventure Time is always the best, but I think it's great because honestly, I feel like Adventure Time wasn't quite to where a regular show was. And don't, before you come to me, it deserves to be in the best. But if I had to choose between the two, and I'm just going off of that, I would choose regular show first. I watched regular show more than I watched Adventure Time. You know what? I watched Adventure Time, but I watched regular show more. I enjoy it more. When I used to go back to school and talk to my friends about it, this is what we talked about mostly. Adventure Time was so cute and quirky, and it had um, all these different things in it that, you know, I feel like touched really emotional parts of who we were as people so and you know that adventure time was originally pitched to nickelodeon and they passed on it what a fail it became one of the one of one of the greatest cartoons ever so that's on them amazing world of gumball indeed was a great show i love how they took real time and animation and put it together so perfectly it meshes so well to the point where I can feel like I can see Gumball and Darwin in there and Dada Ramley walking around. But Gumball actually came out when I was in uh, middle school as well so but it was towards the end when I was getting older so I never really always caught on but Gumball is indeed a great show. Chowder oh my god I love Chowder. Even though I think it had like one or two seasons, it is indeed a good show. It's not great, but it's good. I love it. It's so weird. That's why I like it. Like, those are when it, Chowder is one of those shows that was before its time. I feel like it would do well today, but um, then again, it might not. Then it might not. It might not. Now, I'm looking at all the Ben 10s. I did not watch Ben 10. I've always tried to get a Ben 10. And I know that people said it was a good show and everything, but I could never get into it. I could never get into it. I, there's what? One, two, three, four, f five Ben 10s? I can't, I could not get into neither one of them. Like, don't get me wrong. The They have a great uh, 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 intro song, like opening song. Like it has a great opening song, but I just could not get into it. I'm so sorry. And I know people are gonna probably put my head on the chopping block. Mm -mm. No. Wasn't that good to me? Codename Kids Next Door. Oh, yes. An S tier show. Yes, an S tier show. These kids, imagination took form in a way that I've never seen. The beef on site was real over just things that kids beef about but the thing is they just had the technology in the mind to do to, to like get those things that they wanted they were just basic kids things like candy territory over the neighborhood things like that but to the extreme courage the cowardly dog okay so courage the cowardly dog is actually one of the best but when i was a kid i was so genuinely scared of this show but the thing is i always kept watching remember that one episode with the guy the the the, the, the weird looking skeleton guy with the the camera and he says oh the camera loves your nastiness like that. that's weird the one episode when old girl got abducted i forgot what his name was the old man when he got possessed, it was like demonic possession throughout this entire show. Alien, supernatural things. And this poor dog was always trying to save somebody, trying to let him know, hey, this is this is weird. But it just goes to show that 
they took a simple real life thing. When a dog is barking or when a dog is acting weird, you listen to that dog. And they turn it into this extreme thing of what happens when you don't listen to that dog. But the dog always ends up saving somebody. So courage the homie even though he did that show used to scare the crap out of me my mom was like why do you watch it because it's good <laughs> cow and chicken okay um i'm gonna put it as me yogurt i only watched it for the sake of that it wasn't a gift show but i just my eyes could never understand or be or or, or was extremely befuddled at what the heck i was watching i was like people's booties were constantly out um it's def it was definitely one of those shows that were meant for adults <gasps> duck dodgers okay i like that show do you guys remember that game on cartoon network i played that game all the time i can never pass it until i got older and realized what i was doing wrong and i can never play it again now you can't really play this game anymore it's kind of hard to play these older games because of the software and stuff like that Craig of the Creek, which is a newer uh, one, uh, one of the best cartoons that are airing today. It is a black boy, which I love, is the main character. Black parents, what I also love. And it doesn't just center around stereotypical things that black boys like, which I mentioned in one of my other videos. He's a black boy that has adventure and imagination and it takes it to the extreme. He learns life lessons and he's an overall good kid too. He's not a bad kid, he's a good kid. And so I like that show, I haven't watched it recently, but when I saw it, I was like, okay, what is this gonna be about? Really great representation of what of what black children are. Like, we're not just the stereotypes. We are, or I'm not a child, but we have more interest in the basic stereotype things that people put on us. So this show really just captures we are way out of the box than what people put us in. So Craig and the Creek, check it out. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. My mom hated when I watched this show. One of the best shows too. My mom hated when I watched this show because it was weird and it was nasty too also. Um, she just could not stand me watching this show. Why do you watch it? I just thought it was funny, the situations that they put them in. But I feel like, because I was a kid, I didn't always get the jokes and the situations until I got a little older and I was able to enjoy it way more. They were also hormonal teenagers as well. So like, they would get caught up in situations. And not only that, they was hustling. They was trying to make a quick dollar out of anything they could do. And I feel like when you're at that age, yeah, when you're like a teenager, you could use a quick dollar, so you could find a creative way to do it. You used to sell candy, so like, I want to get into the shows I just thought were just so bad. Mad. I thought Mad was stupid. I thought Mad was bad. I didn't, I like, I got what Mad was, but I felt like that was such a stupid thing. I, I, I just was, <laughs> I was not a fan. I was not a fan of it. I just could not stand it. Every time it would come on, I would be sitting there waiting for the next, because it was like short. So it would be for like in between and it would be a premiere of a new, a new episode of a better cartoon and this is on the TV. I cannot stand it. Also, also Crypto, um, Crypto the dog, no, stupid, stupid show. Johnny Tess was mediocre to me. I could not stand Johnny Tess. It, it bugged me. Um, what else, what else did I deem as mediocre? Hold on. Cause we're, we're, we're gonna get those out the way. Oh, I see Flapjack. Flapjack was indeed a go to show ahead of his time. It was great. I'm gonna put it in great. Um, let me see. Who else do we have here? Uh, Annoying Orange. It was our, we already had enough of that in, in, on, on YouTube. We did not need a show. Bad. Horrible. Trash. Um, My Gym Partner's a Monkey. Um... Mm -hmm, it's mediocre. Like, I liked it. It was one of those shows I just watched to pass the time. I said Johnny Test was bad. Go here. I did not care for it. Um, let me see. What else do we have here? Because we're, we're, like, uh, I am a weasel. I, 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 it was one of those shows where I'm going to put right here. It was weird. It was a cow and chicken situation. Pretty sure it's the same. I think the same um, animators, same writers. Weird. Why was that a kid's show once again? Let's see. Um, Johnny Bravo was a classic. Totally spies. Ah, Hold on. 
growing up. Ah, that's such a good yes. Cause yes. Why? Cause yes. That's all. That's all I need to say. That's all I need to say. Ooh, Steven Universe, indeed a great show. The best. I haven't finished it, but good show. S uh, Static Shock. Come on now. Ahead of his time. Hmm? Kind of stereotypical. If we wanna, if we wanna talk about it. But indeed a great show. Um, no, total drama. I've never seen it, but I know it is at a what? It, what is this? What is this? No, I never understood. Like, like I said, why do they have to be babies? Baby Looney Tunes is like uh, one of those situations of why does it have to be babies? But I enjoyed it. Why do you have to have baby version of a total drama island? Do you know? The the, the 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 stuff that happened in that show like there's there's no need for a baby version of that jeez it's kind of weird i feel like it's a form of pedophilia thank you teen titans yes and i'm talking about the original but if i also had to say the new one it's entertaining i'll give it that the new one is entertaining so i will put it as good because it's it doesn't necessarily follow the um the like the the original but it's it has its own and it's funny so like that's why oh here's total drama wrong uh island yeah good show good show it was right where it needs to be it got us running i totally would watch reruns of it yeah it was indeed a good show like first of all i was a kid watching this so i wonder if there was anybody that's a bit older or was I like maybe a teenager around this time? Was this show like accurate? Like, did it make you laugh? Because I know a lot of teenagers probably didn't watch cartoons, but I definitely was watching cartoons as, as teen as a teenager. I still watch cartoons. I'm a full adult, a full grown adult. So like, not a full grown adult, but I'm an adult. Now I know what you're thinking. None of the Scooby Doo's are up there. I just prefer not to have a comment on Scooby Doo because I think Scooby Doo was a dry show. Like, I just could never really get into it. I couldn't. It was dry to me. I, I It still is. The movies are great, but the show, dry. It was a bleh to me. I'm sorry. So, there you have it. <laughs> Where's Tom and Jerry? Is that not on here? You guys don't have Looney Tunes, but not have Tom and Jerry? It makes no sense. Y'all got dry Scooby Doo, but not Tom and Jerry. Y'all got basic Ben 10 and not Tom and Jerry. I'm sorry, y'all. Can't get into it. What else y'all got on here? All these Batmans and Supermans from a while back, which I'm pretty sure I remember. I'm just not going to rank them. And the rest of these shows, like, I don't recognize. Like, they're either, like, one of those shows. I just, it's really hard to see. I'm like, <laughs> it's really hard to see. Okay, y'all. So I have my um, list. We're gonna start from the bottom, actually. We have what is this? Total drama rama. Bad trash show. Horrible. Then we have never watched. Do not remember. I'm gonna move this to what is this? Because honestly, there's no point in having a remake of Powerpuff Girls. There's no point of remaking things. Just, 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 just run reruns. We'll watch it. I know that I will. We have bad at, we have bad. We have mad. We have crypto, annoying orange, Johnny Tess, and Victor and Valentina. Those are the shows I consider bad. Um, mediocre, we have Camp Lazlo, Cow and Chicken, Baby Looney Tunes, My Gym Partner's a Monkey, and I Am Weasel. Um, at good, we have Chowder, the Dodgers, and uh, Code Loco. I think I'm saying that wrong, but I remember that show. It was a good, it was a good show. What we have at great, we have 16, Adventure Time, Gumball, Clarence, uh, Foster Homes for Imaginary Friends, Johnny Bravo, uh, Looney Tunes, Uncle Grandpa, Flapjack, Steven Universe, and Jojo. And now we have S tier, the best according to mommy cartoon shows on cartoon network let's get it going powerpuff girl i'm gonna start from the bottom 
Total Drama Island, Teen Titans, Static Shock, um, Grim Adventures of Billy and Manny, Totally Spies, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, um, what is that? Craig of the Creek, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Code Name Kids Next Door, Samurai Jack, Justice League, any of those from that area, from that era, um, Regular Show, Dexter's Laboratory, and Powerpuff Freaking Girls. These are some of the best cartoons I consider the best on Cartoon Network. And I'm pretty sure there's some down in the bottom. I recognize their like artwork, but I cannot remember where they came from. But hey y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this little video of an S tier list. If you enjoyed this video, I need you to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn that notification bell so you know when I post because cartoons are goaded. They are goaded. They are the best. <laughs> God, I'm a weirdo. Why do I talk like that? I don't even, do I talk like that in real life? God, you know, get in front of this camera, act like a fool. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. I keep spitting. Thank you so, so much for watching. And, and your love and support. See, I don't mess myself up. And, uh, what? Yahweh willing, I will see you all in the next video. Shalom, I love you, goodbye. Peace, peace, peace. Get on this camera, don't know how to act. Bye, y'all.